Hi guys, so today we are going to see lithium ion battery monitoring system. So this is a IoT based one. So here we are using Arduino you know, microcontroller with 16 into 2 LCD display. So and then the microcontroller name was Atmega 328P microcontroller. It having a ADC 6 ADC pins and then a 14 digital pins 0 to 13 and then AD0 to AD5. So it having a communication serial communication pins as a SPA, UART and then I2C. Mostly we are using UART pins such as RX, TX pins. So our Arduino, you know, collect all the sensor values like uh, voltage and then current sensor values and then send into our Wi-Fi model. So it will get the all the sensor data and then send into our IoT web page through to internet connection. So we need to internet connection. We change our hotspot name as IoT data. I was small. There is no space between words. So IoT data and then password one two three four five six seven eight. So once you enable your hotspot and then mobile data, so you will check your connected device whether ESP is connected or not. If it is connected means the ESP name will be occur. So it's a correct process. You will check it's a correct correct process. Otherwise, you need to change your password correctly. This is a lithium ion battery. So we are going to monitor this battery voltage and current by using our voltage sensor and then current sensor. So current and voltage sensor are having a three pins VCC and then ground. Uh, this is a VCC and then ground and then output pin. So output pin we are connected with our Arduino analog pin, one of the analog pin. And also current sensor also having a three pins VCC ground and then connect output pin uh, to our Arduino, you know, one of the pin. Uh, such as an uh, analog pin so here uh, trans uh, your com communication like it will be transmitter pin uh, one pin one pin will, uh, will be a transmitter pin so it will transmit all the data and then it will receive wi-fi model esp8662 only receive all the data so now we switch on the power supply so before we are going to switch on power supply we need to set up our hotspot name This is our hotspot name IoT data 1234567 So you need to enable your hotspot. Now I am going to switch on power supply. So once you switch on power supply, you will check connected device ESP connected or not. So mobile data switch ESP is connected. So this is our voltage and then current rating of our lithium ion battery. So current sensor voltage sensor collect the lithium ion battery values then display into our LCD display and it will be shown into our IoT uh, web page. So this is your uh, panel http iot cloud data dot com 22 log 206 this is your uh, link web page link. So HTTP IoT Cloud Data dot com twenty two log two not six. Default username admin. Default password admin. So all letters are small. So once you enter, hit the enter button. So you will get the values. So voltage and then current rating. So then time and date, log time date. So eighteen thirty three, like almost near. So we will get correct data, voltage, current rating. So we can monitor our uh, lithium ion battery of our vehicle, car, uh, motorcycle or any other devices. We can monitor anywhere in the world by using our proposed system. So it's having a Wi-Fi communication. So that's all. Thank you.